In this video, we'll be going over chart trading via the buy and sell buttons. For convenience, buy and sell buttons can be added to the chart, and these buttons are available as chart labels. So we can put them on the chart by either double clicking on the chart, and then clicking on labels and selecting them. So we're gonna select the buy button. We're going to select the sell button. We'll click OK, and now they're on the chart. Now, in addition to double clicking on the chart, you can also right click on the chart and select chart settings, and that will bring you to the same screen where you can add the buy button and sell button under the label panel, okay? So now that we have them on the chart, we can now click either of them when we want to place a trade. So let's just click on buy. Now once you click on the button, you'll get the order ticket. And what you see here will depend on your broker. Now in this example, I'm connected to TradeStation. So what we have here is we have the current price. We have buy selected, as that's what I have selected, but you can change this to sell if you wish. If I have multiple accounts associated with my login, then I can select the account that I would like to place the trade. I can change the quantity, and this quantity here will be taken from your order presets. Now I can click on configure, and it will bring the order presets for this instrument. Or I can click on presets here, and it brings me to the same screen. So you can see the presets listed here. And are reflected here. Okay, now the I can change the order type. So in this case, I can change this to market. I can change the expiry and I can also attach orders if I wish. So if I click on limit and stop and now if I click on submit the order is placed. In this case because I've attached orders Motive Wave is letting me know that native attached orders are not supported for this broker and this type of order will be handled by Motive Wave and it must be running and connected to the broker to ensure the attached order is submitted properly. Okay, so the attached orders in this case are managed on the client side and Motive Wave has to run. Click OK. If I bring up my orders panel, you can now see my stop and my limit, as well as you can see them on the chart. Now here we have the show orders in the upper right hand corner and what that does that will show any filled orders and any outstanding orders to be filled if I don't want to see them I can always click on it to turn it off I can also view trade history by clicking the show trades icon and now any historical trades here will show for this specific symbol and I can simply hover over any of these historical trades to view some of the details now we can also right click on the chart and select trade from the menu. And from here, we have some options. We have buy, sell, cancel all. So if I were to click cancel all, you'll notice now that my orders are gone. And if I show my orders, the only order that's showing is the market order that was filled. Okay, so we can also initiate trades from here as well. Refresh orders, and refresh trade history. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.